Hey, hello. Welcome to Science Chorus. In this video, we are going to see about separation of mixtures. As we have already seen about mixtures, which are nothing but the combination of two or more elements or compounds. So there are two types of mixtures. One is heterogeneous mixture, another one is homogeneous mixture. Many mixtures contain useful substances mixed with some unwanted materials, otherwise called as impurities. Now, to obtain these useful substances from these impurities, what we can do? So, there are some physical methods by which we can separate these useful substances from the impurities. So, one of the separating techniques is the sublimation. So, sublimation is nothing but it is a chemical process where a solid substance is directly converting to gas without entering into liquid state. So, very simple, sublimation is a chemical process where a solid substance is directly converting to gaseous state without entering into the liquid state. So, to make it simple, we will take an example, we will take a mixture. I am having a mixture in my hand, I want to uh, take only the useful substance from that mixture. For example, ammonium chloride and sand. The formula for ammonium chloride is NH4Cl. Clear? Now, I am having the mixture of ammonium chloride and sand. Now, I want to separate only the ammonium chloride from the sand. Now, I have taken the ammonium chloride plus sand in a china dish. Over the china dish, I placed a asbestos sheet. Now, what is this asbestos? This asbestos is nothing but a fibrous mineral which is present in the earth's crust. And this asbestos is having various properties such as uh, like it is non-flammable. It does not catch fire easily and uh, it is a very good insulator of heat and it is non-reactive in nature. It does not react with other chemicals very easily. So from this asbestos, you are making a sheet and you are making a mesh kind of thing such that it consists of small holes in it. So this asbestos is nothing but a fibrous mineral. Now, uh, I am placing a funnel over it in an inverted manner which is nothing but an inverted funnel. And this inverted funnel is being closed with a cotton plug such that the vapors are not getting escaped from the funnel. Now I am having a Bunsen burner which gives us the heat. Now when I start this process, uh, I am giving the heat by switching on the Bunsen burner. So slowly after some time, we can see some vapors passing through this asbestos sheet to the inverted funnel. This vapors are nothing but the ammonium chloride. We know that ammonium chloride, it is in solid state. After some time, when it is heating, it is directly converting into vapor state, which is nothing but sublimation. And the substance which is converting to solid to gas, gas that substance is called as sublimable substance. Now, in this case, ammonium chloride, it is getting converted to gaseous state and this inverted funnel, this inverted funnel is being wetted, is being wetted with some cold uh, filter paper or uh, using some wet cloth, we are wetting this to walls of the inverted funnel. Now, when this vapors enter the inverted funnel, Due to this cold temperature, this vapor is getting condensed and it is getting solidified as ammonium chloride. The same vapor ammonium chloride is getting solidified and now you are getting the same solid ammonium chloride. Now, at last you are getting this solidified ammonium chloride. Thus, using the sublimation process, we are separating a useful substance that is ammonium chloride from an impurity. So, uh, we see this uh, sublimation process in our day to day life uh, in our uh, surroundings. For example, air freshness, air freshness which we use in our uh, rooms like bathrooms or toilets, this air freshness are nothing but which undergoes sublimation. It is in the solid state, slowly it is changing to vapor and it is giving the fragrance throughout the room and the solid after some days if you see it will, it will not be uh, visible. Now, camphor, karpuram. So, camphor is also an another example where when you uh, uh, let this camphor, after sometimes if you see, nothing will be there. So, it is getting uh, 
like it is getting converted to vapor state so sublimation process is taking place iodine is also another example where it is undergoing sublimation naphthalene balls rasakatpuram we'll say so this naphthalene balls also undergoes sublimation so in your day to day life in our surroundings we can see this sublimation process taking place in a very wide manner now as a whole to separate these components it is always depend on the properties of these components of the mixture and the physical state of the components of the mixture this we should keep in our mind in the upcoming videos we'll be seeing the next technique how we can separate the mixtures thank you